Try not to hurt him. Try hard, or just sort of try. <sighs> okay. Oh, you're fantastic, boss. You may be the greatest bandit ever. Oh, stop. And you're the best trustedest advisorist ever. Ah, uh, fist bump. Boom. Making it rain. <laughs> Why does this place smell familiar? Uh, because it's so successful. Awesome! Let's rob it. We gotta keep him away from stuff that might bring back his memory. Whoa, 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 boss! Hold on a second. Um, about Mr. Pang's noodle shop. We got this agreement with him, right? Um, if we don't rob him, he gives us free noodles. So, I don't know. Wanna give up the noodles, or... Oh! Ow! Oh. Come with us, Paul. Wait a second. I feel like I know these guys. Of course you do. They're like your sworn and mortal enemies. That's it. Oh, we're here to help you. You can help by kissing my fist with your mouth parts. What the? Let's get out of here! Next time, I won't go so easy on you! Guys, this is amazing! We just have to make sure Poe doesn't get his memory back, or we'll be the greatest bandits in history! But it, don't, don't you feel bad that we're kind of taking advantage of him? Darn it, Gary! We're supposed to do bad stuff! That's why we're called bad nits. Anyway, don't feel bad about it! I don't feel bad about it at all. Mmm, Fung, your mom makes the best honey cakes. You didn't leave us any? Nah. Mm. So guys, I've decided we're gonna head back to the village and rob that noodle shop. But we can't rob Mr. Ping. He's your favorite cook, remember? I told you we have the arrangement. I'm the boss, and I say that there's a new arrangement where we rob that shop. But... End of story. Ah, that's a good story. Got a couple of notes. So, Poe has lost his memory, and he thinks he's a... A crocodile bandit. <sighs> For the good of the Valley of Peace, we have to stop him. Find Poe, hit him hard, hit him fast, bring him down. Dreams do come true. for the next 15 minutes <laughs> with special seasoning. Oh, no. What's going on here? <gasps> okay, party people, prepare to be robbed most spodaciously. Very funny, Paul. Come into the kitchen and help me with my special noodles. The secret ingredient is floor. Oh, Hand oh. over your money. Don't make me get all kung fu -y on you. What? That's no time for chit-chat, boss. Um, let's just, you know, stay focused on the task at hand. <laughs> Have you lost your mind, Paul? You seem familiar. Of course I'm familiar. I'm your father. <gasps> <laughs> yeah, right. How can you possibly be my dad when you're a goose? Well... And I'm a crocodile. That's crazy, right? Am I right? Hang on. Oh, uh, I got this guy, boss. Um, why don't you grab some loot? Yeah. Okay. Hey, look at that man. A whole lot of cool stuff. Look! Hey, those are pulse action figures. Hey, what you got there? Um, you know, it's Nick Knox, Chotsky's, Doodads, Brick of Brad, Flugers. I'm just... Okay, time to go. How about the loot? Oh, we got plenty. Let's go, go, go. There he is. Now let him get away. Oh, you get back here at once, young man. You're grounded. You are grounded. Poe. Looks like we got about 30 yuan and some noodles. These taste funny.
This is pathetic. We need a big heist, something really spectacular. If I'm the leader, I'm gonna lead us to greatness, right? Um, I got it. What's that, uh, that big fancy place on top of that, that mountain? Oh, you mean the Jade Palace? Yeah, we're gonna rob the Jade Palace. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Let's uh, dial this back a little, yeah? I don't think we want to... Darn it, guys! <gasps> You're gonna do what I told you to do. And I say we're gonna rob that palace's brains out. And if anyone gets in our way, we crush them. Crush, crush, squishy, squishy, crush. Uh, stairs. Uh. <laughs> Hear the legend of the crocodile bandits. Do doom doom, dum doom doom doom. Come on, sing. Hear the last sin of the crocodile bandits. Would you guys at least try? We're a team. No, Mr. Bossy Boots. We're a team. You're the boss. Fine. I am the Bandit King. That's what I'm thinking of calling myself now. What do you think? I want to go home. No way! We're going straight to the top. Once the Bandit King destroys these Jade Palace guys, who's gonna stop us? Uh, what do you mean when you said destroy? <laughs> destroy. <laughs> yeah! Okay, arch enemies. We are here to croc your world! Oh my gosh. Croc your world? That's so great! I can't believe we haven't been saying that for years. Croc your world! Croc your world! Please, don't ruin it like you ruin everything. Yoo-hoo! The Bandit King wants to do some punchy punch! Where is everybody? They're all out looking for you. I just gotta fight one funny-looking old guy with a pointy nose and a mustache that looks like yesterday's noodles? This is gonna be easy. If you believe that, you really have forgotten everything. Uh, should I be worried about... Dragon Warrior, and we're like enemies in junk, and that's how it's supposed to be, and oh, this is all just wrong, wrong, wrong! I should have known. You want to be the boss! Um, You're trying to trick me into thinking I'm good. Hold it right there! Oh, thank gosh you guys are here! Whoa, unexpected. Crocs, attack! Fine, then I order myself to kick these guys' butts. You think you can stop me? No! One can stop me! It's over, old man. There's only one boss around here, and it's me.
stuck in that box. Dolls? Not dolls. Action figures. Just beat the heck out of me. <laughs> yeah, right. Wait, you don't remember anything? About how we were friends and then you went all nuts and I kind of saved the day? <gasps> I do remember that your mom makes awesome honey cakes. Right, I give up. So get up and take us to prison. Nah, you know what? Just forget it. We'll take ourselves. Oh, Fungy. You're just gonna give up? Can't you see we're not cut out to be bandits? I mean, we've been doing this for years, and our hideout is still my mom's basement. Ugh. You know what? It's time we go straight. <gasps> right after we do our time in prison. Nah, why not? I got a nice garden going there. Hey, hey. I, I don't know why, but I feel like I should thank you. Don't mention it. Yeah, maybe maybe we can do something when you get out. And, you know, something that doesn't involve punching each other. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we've been punching each other. So, yeah. <laughs> well, that sounds good. I, I, that sounds real good, guy. Poe, I guess I was wrong. You do have what it takes to be a leader. An evil, misguided, destructive leader. <laughs> Thanks, but why would I want to be a leader? Keep your left up and you'll do fine. So, I see some new faces tonight, and we all know the third rule of Kung Fu Club. No matter height, weight, or height, all members fight. Sounds reasonable. Hey! Hmm. What's your name, new guy? Po Ong. Uh, Po Ong, the wool gatherer. Right. Mongo, you're up. <laughs> Uh, maybe we should talk about this. It's okay, new guy. Just believe in yourself. But, uh, I don't want to hurt this poor little guy. But, uh, I don't want to hurt this poor little guy. It's, it's not fair. Ow, 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 ow. It's the Dragon Warrior. That jig is up. Run! Attention, everyone. I'm really sorry. Your club is awesome, but... On behalf of the Jade Palace, I'm going to have to shut you down. We'll see about that. Right. Okay, sweet mask, but I'm not here to fight. It's on! Oh, well, I 
guess I could fight a little bit. Still, gotta shut you down, whoever you are. Ping? Come on, Poe! Poe! Take it easy, Poe. You've been out for a while. Sorry about the kick. Sometimes I get carried away. You think? Peng, you're behind this? But I thought you quit Kung Fu because of your, you know, being related to Tai Long and other sundry issues. I did, but I realized that the problem wasn't with me. It was the so-called champions of Kung Fu. Sure, the masters of the great palaces are heroes, but they keep the secrets of Kung Fu to themselves. But the masters can't be everywhere, and without those skills, the common folk are helpless. Leon and I decided to do something about it. The club started to grow. We worked hard, but it was great. And for fun, whoever was the top fighter got to wear the Mask of Triumph. I had a new sense of purpose, Poe. And for the first time in my life, I was happy. But now that's over because you want to shut us down. Save your breath, Leon. Poe's one of the high and mighty masters. It's his job to keep the power out of the hands of the common folk. That's not fair, Peng. I'm honor-bound to uphold ancient tradition. And that's why I totally want to join your club because it's so awesome! Really? Yes! It's just what this town needs. Kung Fu for the average guy. It's genius. A real master in our club would be amazing. He could help train new members. <gasps> exactly. They'll be all, oh, we're just simple villagers. Then I'll be all, feel the thunder! And they'll be all, pa, pa, pa! Are you sure, Po? This is more important. I know you, Peng. You have a good heart. If you believe in this club, then I do too. Yeah! Yes! You can even wear the mask if you want. You ever wash this thing? <laughs> Not at once. <laughs> awesome. <sighs> Wait, what am I gonna tell Shifu? Did you find out anything? Good talk. Welcome back, everyone. To the new and improved Kung Fu Club. You all know our newest member? Sup, guys. I hope you're ready to shake things up. Jid Palestine! <laughs> but, Paul, we're just regular guys. We could never learn to fight like you. Not with that attitude. Look, anyone can do Kung Fu, and I'll prove it. Apple cart duck, when I'm ready, I want you to hit me as hard as you can. Not quite ready, but nice job. <clears throat> See, if he can do it, so can you. Last few weeks have been amazing. Yeah, those guys are really learning how to handle themselves. 
I know. That's why I think it's time to take things to the next level. What do you mean? We have one big night where we invite the entire Valley of Peace. When the Valley gets a load of how awesome you guys are, Kung Fu Clubs will start springing up everywhere. Hey, don't you know this road is dangerous? Yeah, give us your money. We'll protect it for you. What? <laughs> from the Dragon Warrior himself! Shabooey! They pushed us down, and they said hurtful things, and then they beat us up. <laughs> oh, shut up! My best thugs have been getting creamed all month by a bunch of schleps! And now, I know why. The Dragon Warrior is their leader. But he won't be. For long. Imagine kung fu clubs everywhere. It's amazing. We're really making a difference. This is what we're meant to do, Leon. This is where we belong. I know. We've got our whole lives ahead of us. That may be a shorter time frame than you and Holmes. <gasps> Oh, big night tonight. Everyone's gonna be there. Everyone? Uh, Master Shifu! I just saw Master Yao in the forest. He wants to see you right away. Master Yao? Master Yao? <laughs> what was he wearing? I mean, what was he doing in the forest? You know, mystical, foresty stuff. He said you should come right away and go nowhere near the village tonight. Weird, huh? But love to come, but he said you should go alone. Anyway, gotta run. Another good talk. Hmm. So, Peng, old buddy, you and the panda have been giving folks the idea that they can stand up to my thugs. That's the point. It was. Because tonight, you're gonna help me eliminate the dragon warrior for good. With this. One prick with this poison little beauty. And your chubby pal is history. You're crazy. Why would I do that? Because otherwise your girlfriend meets an untimely, not to mention, untimely end. Leave her alone. Sorry, chum. Cunning beats Kung Fu every time. I... I can't. Poe's my friend. Yeah, I know it's a tough choice. But you're Tai Lung's bad boy nephew. We both know you got it in you. Embrace your dark side, kid. It's your fate. You were meant to be a villain. they miss this well the crowd's getting antsy let's get started hello valley of peace welcome to Kung Fu Club. how could Poe disobey me for this okay kid go out there and beat me for this okay kid go out there and beat who you were meant to be but remember, no funny stuff, or your girlfriend is history. So, who's up for first fight? I am! Hang too? Disgraceful. Good 
good idea, buddy. Start the night off with a bang. So who you gonna... Ooh, hey, kids, I wasn't ready. down a notch I'm sorry Poe every time I try to do something good it goes horribly wrong knock his walk off it's Tong Fo he's got Leon Tong Fo what's going on sorry Poe this is my path it's the only way to save her you were wrong to believe in me Isn't wrong, Peng. You're a hero, and you're my friend, and that's never gonna change. Get on with it. We came to see a fight, not a dance. Finish him already. Peng, you know what you gotta do. Yes, I do. I have finally defeated the Dragon Warrior! Now that it's all over, all I can say is... NOW! It's a double cross, get up! Your girlfriend is toast. No! Not any last words. I do! Free fight! Mrs. Yoon. Somewhere. I've had enough fighting for one night. Not quite. There's still the matter of you threatening my girlfriend. Looks like our boys have things under control. Oh, yeah. Panda, you expressly disobeyed your master's wishes. All for this Kung Fu Club. Yeah, I did. Great job! You were right, Pen. Kung Fu should be for everyone. And thus, I'm going to formally propose that the ban on amateur Kung Fu be lifted. Huh? That... that would be amazing! Watch out! <laughs> Well, we'll talk about it later. First, I have to... Um, I know I keep asking, but, uh, 
there's room at the Jade Palace if you ever... Sorry, Poe. We have other plans. We're going to take your advice and travel all over China setting up more Kung Fu clubs. Sweet! Still, I'm going to miss you guys. You never gave up on me, Poe. You always believed in me. Even when no one else did. Including me. Be happy, friend. Kung Fu Panda! Legends of awesomeness. Sweet! Grains of rice? Five? That's worse than none. As long as the village goes hungry, we will go hungry as well. Yeah, but when I agreed to that, I thought it meant hungry, not hungry. Sorry, Poe, but until we catch the food bandits and end this famine, five grains is all the rice you... <laughs> You're seeing me as a giant noodle again, aren't you? Oh, sorry, Viper. It's just that I, I need food. We all do. I don't know what you're all complaining about. I am stuffed. Woo! What? Racing my teeth? Oh. Come with me. This famine is reaching a critical point. I'm not sure how much longer the villagers can hold on. Any luck on figuring out who is stealing the food, Master Shifu? Unfortunately not, but we do have a short-term solution to the valley's... Uh -huh. ...troubles. Uh -huh. You're seeing me as a giant rice ball again, aren't you? Uh -huh. A devilishly handsome giant rice ball. A newcomer, Madame Zhao, has donated a shipment of rice to the village. I'm sending you to protect that rice. By eating it? Because then it'll be in our stomachs and no one will be able to... I'm open to other suggestions. Come on, Paul. If you keep stopping to lick rocks, we're never going to get there. It's the next best thing to eating. Some of these rocks taste pretty good. <laughs> This is not one of those rocks. Whoa! Madame Zhao must be richer than lychee nut pudding in a brown sugar demi-gloss. We get it. You're hungry. Oh, company's here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's so nice to see new faces. I do get so lonely out here on my own. I'm Madame Zhao. <laughs> Oh, and you're the mighty dragon warrior, sole protector of the Valley of Peace. Well, I mean, I... Uh, <laughs> not really the sole protector. Would you like to come in and see some portraits of my grandchildren? Uh, sounds great, <laughs> really. But we should probably get that rice back to the village. Oh, don't go yet. Have you eaten? I took the liberty of preparing a small lunch. <laughs> Until now, I didn't know my eyes were hungry, too. Oh, honor demands that we not eat while the village starves. Honor demands that I not starve while my stomach eats. That doesn't make sense. You're right. I must be delirious. Should probably eat something. Rats. I know, I was so close. No, Pooh. Rats. <laughs> Ooh, Jade Palace Warriors. A very whimsical. Why so sad? Is the chunky panda hungry? Hey, buddy. I've lost almost two pounds since this famine began. These are my skinny pants. You're the one who's been stealing the village's food. And you're the ones who are going to try and stop me. Well, here we all are. Try and stop me. <gasps> No one hurts food on my watch! Dumpling? You should learn 
and some self-control, you might live longer. Leave the rice to us or my brothers and I will make things unpleasant for you. Look around, rat boy. Your brothers have already given up. True. Good thing I have sisters. <laughs> Lovely family. Uh, lovely family. this one, Banda. But what will you eat after we steal the rest of the valley's food? Your monkey friend? With mustard sauce? <laughs> mustard sauce! <laughs> Relax, monkey. You're my buddy. My delicious, tasty buddy. You saved me from that awful rat. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You really are lonely, aren't you? They took the rice! Oh, this is just dreadful. I'm so very sorry. I'll send to another province for more at once. Many thanks, Madam Zhao. Come on, we need to tell Master Shifu about those rats. You should stop by for a snack anytime you like. Really? I, uh, I would, but... It'll be our little secret. Paul, let's go. Coming! The rats you faced are called the Lao Shu. <gasps> How come everyone but me always knows what stuff means? The Lao Shu are a band of renegades that number the hundreds, perhaps the thousands. Their leader, Xu Long, is as deadly as he is unbalanced. Money means nothing to him. He inflicts suffering and chaos just for the fun of it. successful at causing both. These villains are unlike any you have faced. Get some rest. Tomorrow we train. You made it! You know, for a for an older lady, you're pretty spry. I just get excited to see anybody, and that includes you. Huh, I feel special. You like? I was so afraid you wouldn't come, what with the villagers starving and all. Uh, this was a mistake. I, I shouldn't be... Stuffed fig? Oh. I can stay for a bit. More rice was stolen last night. Fight through the hunger. The Lao Shu won't care you haven't eaten. Neither should... You... This 
one is a dumpling stuffed inside another dumpling. Oh, a da dumpling! <laughs> oh. I've located the last rice storehouse in the Valley of Peace. No doubt, Zhu Long will do Pan. Stake out that storehouse and catch the Lao Shu in the act. Meet up at seven o'clock. Uh, seven? Tonight? Really? Do you have somewhere else to be? <laughs> no, of course not. I just... Do you have somewhere else to be? <laughs> no, of course not. I just want to be prompt. Prompt Poe. That's, that's what they call me. No one calls you that. Maybe they should. <sighs> it seems you're getting better at dealing with your hunger. Uh, yeah. I took it to a whole new, you know, brain level. It's, it's like I'm not even hungry anymore. I'm proud of you, Panda. You finally mastered your impulses, instead of letting them master you. Well done. Uh, uh. Madame Zhao? Sorry I'm early, but, uh... Oh. You okay? I am, now that you're here. I prepared something special for you. Unfortunately, I can't stay. We're staking out the storehouse to keep Zhu Long from stealing the rice. And it's not just that. I really shouldn't be coming here at all. Which is... what is that? I call it cavalcade of dumplings. Eight o'clock and no sign of Zhu Long. Or prompt Poe. I can't believe he'd let the villagers down like this. He'll be here. He's probably doing something important. Forget about Poe. Just stay alert. We can't let Zhu Long get the drop on us. Oopsie Daisy. Too late. But hey, at least we got to spend some quality time together. <laughs> Where were you last night? Uh, me? Oh, I must have gotten my storehouses mixed up, and I... Okay, I went to Madame Zhao's, but it's not what you think. She's all alone out there, and I went to keep her company. Out of the kindness of your heart? Yes! And not to stuff your face with food. Uh... <laughs> Did I eat? I'm not sure if food actually touched my... Plum sauce on your elbow, bean paste on your chin, a dumpling between your toes. Dude, seriously, you eat like a bear! So, you ate while the valley starves and your friends were attacked. Did you at least have the decency to bring back some food with you? Yes. Foot dumpling? Dude. Monkey! Guys! Master! Every time you go missing, the Lao Shu raid our rice stores. But, Master Shifu, I... Because of your selfishness, last night Zhu Long stole the last of the food. Hunger is the new master of the Valley of Peace. Mm. You're still a prisoner of your impulses, Poe. Until you know and accept your weaknesses, selfishness will remain your master. Madam Zhao? It's Poe! Huh. Madam Zhao, are you here? We have to take your dumplings and figs and everything to the village. It's the right thing to... Rice. But the door was open. Huh. The trail just stops. <gasps> the rice! Too long's been here. Madame Zhao! Madame... Oh! Ooh. Oh, 
Thank goodness you're okay. You're in danger. Julong hid the stolen rice here. Well, of course he did. He did steal it from me, after all. Stuffed fig. <sighs> How's that now? Now I can sell the rice for a tidy profit. How about some pudding? Whoa, 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 whoa. I just saw Ju Long attacking you. Oh, that was his idea. Something about diverting suspicion off of me. Let me see about that pudding. Enough with the pudding. Just so I'm clear, you and I are friends. Uh-huh. And you've been feeding me so I come and spend my time with you. That's right. And you're willing to let innocent villagers starve just so you can make some money? Exactly. We're not that different, Poe. I love money and you love food. Here, have another dumpling. Oh, Han Zhao, you are not nice. Oh, not even a little. I'm surprised it took you so long. Oh, not even a little. I'm surprised it took you so long to figure that out. Better late than never. Come on, I have to take you to jail. Oh, Poe, I'm afraid that's going to be a problem. Come out, come out, wherever you are. I am out. Oh, really? How's the view? <laughs> After you get rid of him, we'll have almond cake. Bye, Poe. Oh. Still thinking about food at a time like this? And they call me crazy. Boys! What a great fight! And these seats! Wow! I can hardly wait for the big finale! Big finale? for your help, Jilong. But your services are no longer needed. Oh, and try not to die all over the rice. Lowers the value. Ta-da! <laughs> Why are you laughing? She just double-crossed you! <laughs> no, I double-crossed her. She's not going to make a dime on this rice because I rigged it all to explode. <laughs> <laughs> no way. She'll never see that coming. <laughs> oh, man. When's it going to blow up? Anytime now. <laughs> <laughs>
You boys are resilient. Hey, did you know I was once known as Master of the Iron Whip? <laughs> Dumpling. Sorry, lady. Food isn't my master anymore. I am. Oh, darn. Wow. You have such blue eyes. Hey guys. Look, I know I messed up. I let you and the valley down all for some stuffed figs and dumplings, which in my defense were delicious. Not that that matters. Anyway, I'm sorry. Guess I'm gonna go. Panda. Ooh, a remote village! Awesome! Simple folk living a simple life, and I know how to make their simple day. What the? Yeah. By letting them take in the awesomeness that is the Dragon Warrior! Folks like these know how to appreciate greatness. Ooh, they'll probably throw me a parade. You think they'll throw me a parade? I bet they throw me a parade. I don't know, Pope. He may have beaten you to it. Who? The Dragon Warrior! <laughs> what? <laughs> Learn to be a Dragon Warrior, taught by Master Cheng, the one and only... Dragon Warrior? What? <laughs> the resemblance is scary! This isn't funny, Monkey! This Cheng guy is stealing my fans and my fanfare! He's besmirching the Dragon Warrior name! Lighten up, Po! Come on! We've got to check this guy out. He better not have gotten a parade. Can't wait to see the Dragon Warrior. Wonder what he'll teach us today. It's time for the Dragon Warrior class! <laughs> wow! This Cheng really packs him in. Let's grab a seat in the back. No way. This charade ends now. <laughs> Greetings, small town villagers. Say hello to... The Dragon Warrior! <laughs> you look great, Master uh, <laughs> Thank you. Good to see you, too. I am rather magnificent, aren't I? Sit down! I'll stand. Very well, class. Where did we leave off in our last lesson? You were explaining how you saved the Valley of Peace by defeating Tai Lung. I'll have to buy his book. <laughs> Ah, yes, quite a vigorous scrap that was. But remember, one must master the mind before one can master the foot or feet. Oh. You're writing that down? Seriously? Shh! The Dragon Warrior is so awesome! And you will be too. You see, anyone can be a Dragon Warrior if it's in their heart. Anyone. Anyone? Shh! Keep it together, Po. I think the worst is over. Hear the legend of the Kung Fu Sheep Guy! You gotta be kidding me! Is there a problem? Yeah, buddy. You. Why are you doing this? Because that guy is not the Dragon Warrior. Oh. But I am. Oh, yeah? Then prove it. He's got a poster! 
here. What more do you want? Oh, yeah. Hey. If you're the dragon warrior, then what does paragraph 7 of the Sacred Scroll of Meditation say? Last take note. A true dragon warrior doesn't need to prove he is a dragon warrior. He simply is. So deep. We should throw him another parade. I love him so much. All right, all right, this is... Look, I know you're not the dragon warrior because I... Bandits! Give us all your square coins. Everyone stay back. I'll handle this. Come on, Paul. We gotta help. <laughs> Let's see how much they like their dragon warrior after he gets his lying face thumped. Beat strength of body. Ooh. One kick in the gut is worth two in the head. Hey, he's not bad. <laughs> Always burst between meals. Shooby dooby. Shooby dooby. The Dragon Warrior is too tough for us! Master Chang! Master Chang! How does he do Master it? Master Chang! Master Chang! Once again, the Dragon Warrior has kept our town safe! Long live the... That is it! <gasps> Chang is not the Dragon Warrior because there can only be one Dragon Warrior AND I AM THE DRAGON WARRIOR! <laughs> <laughs> Fine. Then we'll settle this the old-fashioned way. With a fight! Real dragon warrior versus fakey sheepy dragon warrior. Don't do this, Poe. It's beneath you. And soon he will be too. Beneath my fists. That'll be on his face and various other body parts. Yeah, I get it. Oh, yeah? That's right. What are you gonna do about that? Nothing. Didn't think so. Okay, folks. You might want to start planning my parade, because... Pretty cowardly for a dragon warrior, wouldn't you say? <laughs> Coward? Ah? 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 Chain! 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 Not bad, Panda. You. <laughs> You have clearly studied my techniques. Time for you to study my fists, which will hit your face and various we other- get it! Huh? Huh. 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 Careful now. I don't want to hurt you. So, Mr. Teacher Guy, as the real Dragon Warrior, I say to you... <laughs> so... Guess you can start planning my parade now. First off, let's talk confetti. Is it true? Are you not the real Dragon Warrior? We trusted you, and you, you made fools out of us! I didn't mean for this to <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. What's wrong with them? They wanted the Dragon Warrior! 
I think they wanted a hero, and you just took theirs away from them. I know simple folk, and simple folk are resilient. I don't want to live! I don't want to live! You hear me? Uh, hey, Chang. Someday, huh? So, not teaching your Dragon Warrior class anymore? What choice do I have? Not lying is a choice. Just saying. Lying is a choice. Just saying. I didn't lie. At least, it didn't start out that way. I grew up in a big family. All I ever wanted to do was stand out. Be special. But I wasn't. My brothers and sisters became doctors, lawyers, carnival workers. The only way to make my mark was to strike out on my own. My travels took me far. I made my way to this remote village. That's when fate stepped in. <laughs> The villagers had never seen anything like it. They thought I was extraordinary. They thought I was a dragon warrior. I know. I should have corrected them. But I felt special. Finally. And now... Now it's all over. Well, that's the way the fortune cookie crumbles. Good luck with everything. Poe. Look, I feel bad, but the universe chose me, not him. I'm sorry, Chang. I mean, you seem like a good guy. You'll just find something a little less awesome to be. Let's hit it, monkey. Yeah. Take care, Chang. We'll go make sure those bandits are gone. Don't worry about them. I paid them to lose to me. They're actually an out-of-work acting troupe. Since the panda exposed Chang as a fraud, no more payday. We are unemployed. But she will. We have to work. We have to eat. And there aren't any theaters out here. Not even dinner theater. Oh. What? I'm not above it. Hey. Let's put our thinking caps on and figure out how we can get money without having to work. No. Oh. It will be so brilliant if you could just get people to give us their money and such. But how? Uh... Hold on. Instead of playing bandits, we'll actually be bandits. It's so method. Everyone, get into character. Tomorrow morning, we ransack that village with great gusto. Light up the sky, everyone! Light up the sky! You really think Cheng will be okay? <laughs> Absolutely. I know simple folk, and simple folk are forgiving. Wait! Everybody stop! Now listen up! Mm. Yes, Cheng lied! But he's not a bad guy. And his kung fu's pretty good too. I mean, not as good as mine, but I have the advantage of training at the jade. <clears throat> right. What I'm saying is, even if Cheng isn't the totally bodacious dragon warrior, can't you forgive him anyway? No! Forget him! Wow, simple folk can hold a grudge, huh? Bandits! What are they doing back here? Probably didn't get the whole the jig is up memo. Fear not, simple citizens! The dragon warrior will deal with these ruffians. You there! Don't take another step! 
Hey guys, way to sell it. The Dragon Warrior doth say that your kind aren't welcome here. Thing is, show's closing. Don't protrude with me any of your lip foul heathen. Don't feel bad. Good run. Mostly positive reviews. But it's time to move on. What do you say? No problem, everybody. The Dragon Warrior has... I say, the show must go on. This happens to me entirely too often. I heard that. This village belongs to us now. Please, leave them alone. These are good people who... Should I tie him up too? Why bother? He's nothing special. Cheng! Don't worry about me, Po, for as the Lotus Blossom opens, one must... I hate myself. Way to go, Po. Thanks to your big ego, a hero's been crushed, everyone's upset, and bandits have taken control of the whole town. So... no parade. That's it, Shi Wo. We've taken everything they've got. Excellent. And now, since we have a captive audience... But can't you see? It is you that I love. How does a baker's son know anything about love? He only knows about flour and yeast and not the stars are ball. Uh, uh, musical theater. I must bring free shush! Ah, oh, this is crazy. Are you all really gonna let them steal your stuff? They're just actors! <gasps> Well-armed actors? Great. Now see what you did. Critics. New third act, guys. Instead of just robbing this village, we're gonna burn it to the ground! Look at the sky! Alright, fellas, torch it! No! You can't. <gasps> what are you gonna do about it? You're not the dragon warrior. Anyone can be a dragon warrior if it's in their heart. <laughs> 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 What? Look at him! After how we treated him! There's no way he could take them by himself! I am the dragon warrior! Huh? I am the dragon warrior! 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 Let's get him! Hurry, Po! The villagers need a real dragon warrior! Let's do this thing! <laughs> Time for the big finish. Just me versus the Dragon Warrior. With pleasure! Now everyone will be able to appreciate the awesomeness of the Dragon Warrior!
It's up to you, Cheng. You're the quote-unquote dragon warrior. Kick his scenery-chewing butt! Hmm? Ha 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 You were right, Cheng. Anyone can be the dragon warrior. <laughs> if it's in their heart. I know you can do it! This will be your final curtain! How you do it, Dragon Warrior style? Not taking the glory for yourself, Po? You feeling okay? Feeling fine, Monk. I told you. I just wanted a parade. Master Chang! Master Chang! Master Chang! Smell this! Same way about Viper until I got to know her. Yeah. What? But now I love everything about her! The scales, fangs, her sinister forked tongue, that creepy slithering thing <laughs> she does. I think I'm winning him over. Hmm. This is Master Viper we're talking about. You're all acting like fools. Yeah, that's how you win him over. Come on, folks! There's no proof that any snake has done anything to anyone! Snake! He's after all! Oh, Run for your lives! No, no, he's everywhere! Oh, oh. <laughs> calm down, calm down! What's wrong? <laughs> it's okay, you're safe now. Fushi! Fushi! <laughs> Fushi? So, the evil snake's name is Fushi? Sounds like he's some sneaky, slimy, belly-crawling snake. I think we've covered that, Poe. Whoever Fushi is, he must be considered a grave menace. No! Lord Fushi is not a menace! What? Hold on, I'll field this one. What?! You... You don't understand. Lord Fushi is a descendant of the Dragon Gods. He's strong, fast as lightning. At first, he bravely fought to defend China. His venom fills his victims with a mind-numbing fear. His terrified enemy would simply flee, and he harmed no one. But there were those that feared his power. Fushi and his family were persecuted. Enraged, he turned renegade, swearing vengeance against his two-legged oppressors. But even now, every snake in China still regards him as a hero. But you saw what he did to that worker. You can't possibly... him ...as a hero. But you saw what he did to that worker. You can't possibly think he's a hero. I'm a snake, aren't I? Well, yeah, but you're not like other snakes. You're, you know, nice. And other snakes aren't? Yes, no, a trick question! Attitudes like that are the reason Fushi turned renegade. Viper, enough. We've got to work together if we're going to take Fushi down. I'm sorry, Master. I... I don't think I can do that. What? You can't be serious. Viper, you know this enemy. We need you. I won't fight against my own kind. I won't. Master Viper, I'd like to speak to you privately. Yes, sir. <sighs> Why'd Viper get so mad at me? Uh, let's see. One, she's upset all the villagers turned against her, and two, you're extremely uncool, man. 
Yeah, yeah. Paul. Uh. If you have a problem with snakes, then you have a problem with Viper. Well, that's not true. I love Viper. She's kind and generous and good. But it is kind of gross when she unhinges her jaws at lunch. You're right. I'm a closet snakeophobe. Ah! I disgust me. Everyone, Viper has something she'd like to say. I may be a snake, but my first duty is to the Jade Palace. I'll do what I can to stop Fushi. Viper, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. It's okay, Po. Forget it. Because of her expertise, I'm sending Viper to investigate the scene of the attack. Po, you are going with her. Right. Don't worry, Master Shifu. We'll catch that sneaky, scaly, I mean, serpenty, slithering, ah, forky taga! Just go. <laughs> Excuse me, fellas. Have you seen a very large, very lethal snake in this area? Oh, snake! Thanks for your cooperation. They think I'm a bad guy just because I'm a snake. That's because they don't know the real you. They can't see past the skin shedding and the leglessness, which I love. Maybe we should split up. Wouldn't it be safer to stay together? Not for you. Uh, Viper, I... Uh, uh. Don't even know I'm helping these petty jerks. That's as far as you go, Snake. Wait, I'm on your side. You don't fool us. Don't come any closer. I don't want to hurt you. I Miserable two-leggers. No one harms a serpent while I live. More pushy. You you saved me. Did I? Fushi, wait! You saved me. Twice. Thank you. I hate to do the same for any serpent, little sister, even the great Master Viper of the Jade Palace. You... you know me. We all know you. You're a serpent. Yet you fight for the two leggers. Why? They're my friends. We... we protect the valley. I protect the valley as well from your so-called friends. Well, Viper, are you here to defeat me? Do the two-leggers bidding and lock me up? I... I was, but I can't. You are a great hero. The others just don't understand. Large scary snake, coils of death, kind of fangy, anyone? No? <laughs> Sir, please, I'm, I'm conducting a criminal investigation. S -s snake back there! Huh? Oh, that's just my pal Viper. She's totally cool. But do not eat lunch with her. <laughs> but there's two of them. Two? Of them. Stay, stay. two? <gasps> Viper! I'm flattered you think so highly of me, little sister. But I warn you, I'm about to strike a great blow for serpents everywhere. You and your Jade Palace friends had better stay out of my way. Lord Fushi, wait. Maybe I... She... Wait. Maybe I can... Maybe I can help you. Really? Viper! Wait! For what? He's evil! <laughs> Not that all snakes are evil! What? I'm sure he has many good qualities. <laughs> Perish, fool! <laughs> Feel free to help any time. Oh, stop! Don't worry about me, Viper. This guy's tough. But not tough enough to fight the paralyzing shoulder pinch. 
course might be tough, what with the lack of shoulders and- <laughs> Sorry, pal. You brought this on yourself. No! Come on! Viper? You saved me back there. Thank you, little sister. You're... You're welcome, Lord Fushi. Your former friends won't be happy about your betrayal, you know. I did what I felt was right, and I'm not sure they ever were my friends. I spent my entire life trying to fit in, but I was always... different. Yes, and you should be proud of that difference. You're a snake. Now act like one. I'm not sure I know how anymore. For starters, stop being so nice. Snakes can be nice. No, they can't. Snakes must inspire fear. That's how we survive. Go ahead, try and frighten me. Oh, that's, uh, that's pretty bad. But you have potential if you're willing to do what it takes. Viper! Where are you? That creepy cobra must have brainwashed her. And my stupid comments probably didn't help. Dumb, dumb, dumb! Huh? So, are you ready to help me? I am. Ready to restore justice, peace, and freedom throughout the land for snakes everywhere? Yes. How do we do it? By driving every two-legger in the valley mad. I... huh? My bite instills terror. But it wears off eventually. But if I mix that venom with mutong root, then the effect becomes permanent. Madness will reign throughout the two leggers. In the chaos, we shall seize the power that is rightfully ours. But, but how could you have enough venom for that? I have more than enough hidden away in a secret location, and you're going to help me deliver it into the valley's water supply. But... You prefer to go back to the two leggers with their hate and fear? And jokes at your expense? Viper, where are you? It's time to decide, little sister. Are you a snake? Or aren't you? Viper! Oh, what a relief. I'm so sorry about the dumb things I said. Poe? Look, you're nothing like that scaly loser. You're one of us. Now let's catch that creepy cobra and lock him up for good. Viper? Ah! Viper! You... beat me. Ah. <laughs> Welcome back to the family, little sister. <laughs> that was cold, ruthless, I love it! Ugh, nothing clever to say now, huh? No stupid snake joke. Oh, you are bad. I knew you had it in you, little sister. You lose, Pan. Bad. I knew you had it in you, little sister. You lose, Panda. We win. Very exciting, folks. We're minutes away from opening the sluice gate. Water for everyone! Ah! 
No sign of Fu Shi. Perhaps Poe and Viper have already caught up to him. What if they didn't? You're not a teacups half full kind of guy, are you? Oh, they're so proud of this thing they built. But one drink from their new water supply, and the entire valley will belong to the serpents. Poison the water supply? And you're gonna let him? What's the matter with you? I don't believe this! Oh. Here it is, my fear toxin. Now to add the Mutong root. No! We don't have time for this. Finish him! Huh? I warned you, Poe. Viper, this isn't you! You've had this coming for a long time now. What are you doing? Sorry, Fushi. Your reign of terror ends now. Viper! Ha! I knew it! You're not all evil and nasty! Shifu sent me to uncover Fushi's plan. I had to find the hidden venom before I could make my move. But you bit him! I saw you! Paralyzing shoulder pinch. I'd never bite one of my best friends. Traitor! I trusted you and you betrayed me! Oh darn. Ready, folks. When the water comes through, let's take a big drink to celebrate. No! Can't let the water reach the village. Sure. She must erect the aqueduct. I'm not so sure about that. Oh, what happened? My head went all loopy. <laughs> Viper! Viper? Viper! <gasps> Viper! Huh? Viper, speak to me. Please. I'm sorry, I had to trick you, Poe. It was the only way. But you saved everyone. Don't know about Fushino. Oh. I would have shared my kingdom with you. Hurting others doesn't fix the hurt that's been done to you. Forget your hate. Be the hero you once were. How could you choose the two-leggers over me? Especially that panda. He hates all snakes. <laughs> Not really. Just you. Viper!
Nice work, Master Viper. Thank you. You know, you didn't have to keep me in the dark. It's not like I would have said the wrong thing and blown it and... Yeah, I guess I see your point. Look! It's Viper! She saved everyone from that terrible cobra! I love you, Viper. Oh, I love you too. I'm sorry I was such a jerk, Viper. But I hope now you realize just how much everyone cares for you. I do. I just feel badly for Fushi. He was a great and noble soul once. Yeah, well, you know what they say about snakes. Yeah, they're fantastic. Am I right? Give it up.